Hey, what is up fellow Raiders? This is Vulcan Dan and in today's Raid Shadow Legends video, we are going to talk about the four starter champions, Kale, Aethel, Elhane, and Galek. And we're going to see which one you should pick as your starter champion. Now, if you're watching this, maybe you are a new player. You just downloaded the game. It's open right now. It's asking you to choose between these four champions. You don't know which one's good, which one's the best, and you don't want to handicap your account by choosing the wrong champion. So that's why you're watching this video. If you are that player and you just want a short answer, uh, with which champion is the best at this uh, as you start the game, the short answer is you can choose whoever you want. Whoever looks cool for you, whoever you think uh, looks like the one that you will be playing with for a very long time because actually in the very early game all four of them will perform similarly now of course uh, there are some slight differences as you go on with the game but i would say that uh, in my personal account that i have been playing for almost two years now uh, my avatar right here is elhane i chose her as my starter champion and it worked out pretty well so yeah uh, choose whoever you think looks co the coolest. So if you want a magic user, use Kale. If you want an orc that has, an, that has d double access, use, uh, choose Galek. If you want a spear user, choose Aethel. And if you want uh, an elf with a bow and arrow, you can choose Elhane. So yeah, uh, they all perform similarly, especially in the campaign right here. What is the campaign? This is where you will, you will farm XP and this is where you will spend the most of your time as a new player. You will get your starter champion, whichever one that is. You will level that champion up as much as you can and level up other food champions. Food champions are the ones that you don't necessarily want to use uh, in other content of the game. They are just there to be leveled up, to be sacrificed later on to your good champions that you will want to level up and use for other content so yeah so that is what the campaign is for all four of them are excellent for the campaign all right now for the other parts of the game we can go through each one of them and see their skills and see where they excel so this is elhane right here uh, her a1 is a double hitter if the attack is critical, so you want to build her with a lot of damage, a lot of crit rate. And her A2 right here attacks one enemy and then all of them has an extra 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit and places an extra 30% critical uh, in increased crit rate on this champion for 3 turns if a target is killed. And her A3 is an AoE that hits the enemy 2 times. So she is the only champion that has a double aoe skill among the four starter champions so this makes her good for crowds but all of the starter champions all four of them have an aoe skill as well but elhane has two of them also the other main difference that elhane has that the others don't is that she does not place any debuffs so what are debuffs these are decreased defense decreased attack poisons Things that you put on the enemy to make them weaker or make them take more damage. She does not do that, but that is not such a bad thing because now, as you can see here, accuracy, she has zero uh, base accuracy and you don't need to put any accuracy into her. So you can actually focus on other stats. You can focus on her speed, her crit rate, her crit damage, her attack. Make her deal as much damage as you can and forget about the accuracy the other three champions uh Aethel, kale and galek they will need accuracy because they place debuffs so that is not such a bad thing so you can just focus on pure damage for elhane so yeah so that is what she is all about and before we go through the other champions as you can see here she has an extra 15 percent chance of inflicting a critical hit this is something that all four starter champions have in common as well so you can build them at around 85% crit rate uh, so that uh, you can maximize the other parts of their kit. 
All right, so that's El Hain. She was my starter champion for this account. She worked well. I really liked or I really uh, enjoyed playing with her, and I would uh, recommend that you use her as well if you're feeling the bow and arrow kind of character. Next, we have Aethel. So she's using a spear with a shield. She has a three hitter A1. So multi hit A1 right here with a 100% with a chance if you put some books on her. Uh, to place a weakened 25% for two turns on the last hit. So this is a wonderful A1. Her A2 is an AoE that has a 50% uh, extra 15% chance of inflicting that critical hit. This is what I was talking about a while ago. And she has this self buff that gives her increased attack and increased defense if uh, her HP is less than 50% and grants an extra turn. So she will normally use this skill first and then she will use her AoE skill so that she has more attack and then she'll nuke everyone down plus she has this 3 hitter A1. So she's a very good champion. She does well with crowds as, as well and we will talk about this 3 hitter A1 uh, after we go through all four because this is a very useful skill as well for a certain uh, boss. All right, so that's Aethel. Very good champion, very popular champion as well. For the orc champion, we have Galek, and you might have seen him in the posters, you might have seen him in the promotional material. Orcs look cool, double access look cool. He uh, and a lot of new players do choose Galek as their starter champion, and he is not a bad choice. He has a two hitter A1, which is different from Aethel's 3 hitter uh, so uh, but this is also quite good in that one boss that I'm uh, going to talk about later on and he has this AoE that has the same 15% chance extra to inflict that critical hit plus he places, places this increased speed on himself and he has this 4 times uh, random hit and has a chance to place decrease defense and then it goes up to the higher version which is a 60 percent decreased defense if the target has two uh, uh if the target has more than two debuffs so this is a very good debuff right here in order to take down the enemy a lot faster you want to bring down their defense so yeah so very good skill there galek has a good aoe here he also goes faster when he uses this skill and he has a double hitter on his A1. All right, so that's Galek. Looks very cool. Um, don't. Uh, there is no right or wrong answer here. So if you chose him, good. Good luck. Have fun playing with Galek. He's a very cool champion indeed. And the last one is. Let me scroll down. There you go. We have Kale. All right. Now, if you've watched a few of the beginner videos, a lot of them are recommending Kale to be your starter champion. And that is not a bad uh, suggestion as well. And we'll go through why a lot of the players do su suggest to pick Kale. So yeah, so his uh, A1 is a single hitter with a chance to place the, the weak version of the poison. His A2 is the AoE skill, same extra 15% chance of inflicting that crit. And it fills the turn meter of this champion by 25% for each enemy killed. So if you kill one, you get an extra 25% turn meter so that you can get your next turn quicker. If you kill two, then that's 50% and so on. So it's a very good skill. And his A3 is same with Galek. It's a random hitter and it places poisons instead of the decrease defense. So... If it's uh, a single enemy, then all four hits will go to that one enemy. But if you have mul multiple, then you don't know uh, which one it will hit. Maybe it will hit one person or one enemy four times, or it will split it one hit e each for four enemies. Now for this one, this is an aura, and all four of the starter champions have the same Aura, you increase the ally HP in all battles by 15%. You need to put your uh, champion with the aura that you want to use as the lead. 
or or else you will not take or you will not get the effect of this aura so only one aura can be activated per team and it is the one that you place in the lead spot all right so yeah so those are the four champions they all look cool and as what i said before uh for the campaign there is no difference they all do an equally uh good job in farming the campaign for your xp so no problems there they will differ slightly in the other areas of the game so let's go to the dungeons right here so we have the potion keeps right here all of these starter champions perform roughly the same in these potion keeps we will not get too much into those but we will focus on these four right here ice golem spider dragon and fire knight now for ice golem i would say that all four of them are uh, they perform in a similar way for the ice golem so n uh, not a very big ad advantage there but if there's something uh, or if there is just one thing that can be an ad advantage for the starter champions is that kale the dark elf which is the magic user the one with the staff uh, his poisons can be very useful for the ice golem because the ice golem has a very big hit uh, a, a very big nuke hit uh, that if uh, that if you use poisons or if the boss takes damage via poison there is a chance for or you can avoid that big hit if he takes damage from the poison at the right time so yeah so kale has a slight ad ad advantage here but uh, the other three champions are okay for the ice golem now for the spider this guy right here has a lot of spider links so you have the main spider boss and then there are a bunch of other smaller spider links now all four champions are okay here um, but you just have to be aware that the champions that have random hitters and these are Galek and Kale uh, it is very unreliable where those random hits will go and of course you would prefer that those go to the main spider boss but there's a higher chance that they that those will go to the smaller spider links so for kale and galek you can't really control those random hitters but for kale his a2 uh, that gives you increased turn meter for each enemy that you kill because the spiders then has a lot of spider links if you kill just four spider links with his big nuke then you are technically getting an extra turn so kale has one really good skill for the spider and one not so good skill for the spider and elhane of course has that double nuke double a aoe nuke so you can use elhane to destroy all of the spider links so she's a good champion for here as well but i would say that all four of them are are good for the spiders then for the dragon uh i would say that kale has a slight advantage in the dragon again because of those poisons uh because uh you uh, there is the one skill of the dragon that hits hard unless you take his hp down there, there will be this colored bar in his hp uh, if you remove that before the his his turn meter goes to full uh, you will avoid that big hit and again similar to the ice golem poisons uh, work well against that to, to avoid that big hit so yeah so but um, Aethel with the weaken in his a1 uh, Galek with the decreased defense work well and of course El Elhane has a lot of damage all four of them can work well in the dragon for the fire knight advantage goes to Aethel because Ace Aethel has that three hitter A1 and you need multi hit A1 uh, for the Fire Knight because you need to take down his shield first before you can hit him for good damage. Now, uh, the other champions have multi hitters as well. Uh, Kale has a four hitter A3, which can be good, but it is on a cooldown because it's an A3 and it would be preferable if you're multi hitter is in your a1 if you are fighting against the fire knight so Aethel is great here uh, galek is also decent because he has a double hitter a1 uh, elhane also if she crits uh, so kale 
is the only one that has a single hitter A1. So if you're using Kale against the Fire Knight, you will have to manual him in a bit uh, because when the shield is up, you want to use his four random hitter uh, A3 because it is a four hitter to take that shield down. All right, so that's the only thing about the Fire Knight. Yeah, so those are the differences between the four starter champions for the dungeons. For the faction wars, each of them has their own factions. So the orcs, the high elves, the dark elves, and sacred order. So it doesn't matter here. But for the arena, all four of them also perform very well in the arena. Um, El Elhain does that double nuke so that if they don't die in the first one she can come back the second time and do it again to make sure that everyone's dead uh, kale has that turn meter fill whenever he kills so maybe you kill one or two and then he gets his next turn faster Aethel has that increased attack which makes you uh, hit harder and galek has that decreased defense so for the arena all four of them are great as well now for the clan boss the clan boss uh, you want to place a lot of poisons and that is where kale comes in but if you don't have kale don't worry the other three are fine and you can find your poisons elsewhere there are other champions in the game that place poisons now Aethel has that a1 weekend which is also great for the clan boss so you don't have poisons but you but you have the weekend skill so that is not a bad choice as well and Galek has that decreased defense, which gives you more da damage in the clan boss. And Elhain has a lot of, of uh, attack as well because of you know, you're going to be building her with a lot of attack, crit, and all of that. So yeah, uh, but for the most part, Kale would be the best choice for the clan boss, with Aethel coming a close second. Now, Doom Tower, you unlock that later in the game. So for the early game, you don't need to worry about those. All right. So yeah. So we just finished a tournament right here. All right. Yeah. So those are the four starter champions. So uh, short answer is choose the one that you think looks best, that you, that, that you would want to look at for maybe uh two three months because most likely you will use that champion a lot so choose wh whether you want an orc uh, a high elf a dark elf or a hu human in the sacred order so yeah it's up to you which one you want to use i hope you found this video helpful and if you want uh, to see more free to play guides this channel of mine is dedicated to bringing out uh content that is good for free to play and beginner players all right so sub subscribe to this channel if you found this useful i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one